thanks for the introduction and uh, it's pleasure to your uh, learning talk here. Uh, so in, in, in the first part, this is the first time. So uh, I will only introduce the complex structure of the complex uh, lifty mix hot mix structure. And uh, also I will uh, explain the relation between the limiting mix hot structure and the monodromy. Um, so the, the title, I know it's that, sorry. Let me mix our structure after a steam break. Uh, yeah, this construction is uh, much more uh, algebraic than the uh, uh, construction and actually uh, the uh, proof of the existence of limiting mix R structure by Schmidt. Uh, so the, the the first part I want to talk about is uh, uh, the one parameter degeneration and nearby fiber. Um, so this is our uh, On uh, geometric setup. Yeah, by fiber. Um, so our geometric uh, setup is always uh, so here X is um, complex manifold. So I will do it um, uh, a little bit more general. I will not assume a projective family. Let me assume first X is um, uh, complex manifold. And also uh, this is a one parameter family. family. I fix a unique disk, uh, I call it delta. And uh, I have a morphism from X to uh, delta, which is uh, proper holomorphic. Okay, and also uh, smooth over uh, the puncture disk. So I denote, um, so I, I don't assume that uh, F is projective, but all I want is Y is algebraic. So Y, um, which is, um, the, the special fiber, central fiber is algebraic. Uh, and uh, actually I can do the semi-stable reduction. I assume that you, you do cyclic towers and uh, also the blow up, you do it maybe many times. You, at the end, you will get a family such that Y is a simple normal person divisor. Uh, and reduced. Uh, also, sorry, also assume um, Y algebraic and Y is um, a projective variety. So, yes, if you don't, um, I will discuss it, but uh, if you uh, only um, one, the existence of the limiting mix hot structure, actually you don't necessarily uh, assume F is projective. You just need to assume Y is algebraic, um, projective. So this is, this is always our um, geometric setup. And uh, last time, um, Jiaming has already introduced the variation of hot structures, pure hot structure. Uh, let me just uh, fix the notation for that uh, as a quick recall. Thing. So here, uh, um, I still call that 
the, the restriction on the puncture family like star, which is, uh, you know, X minus Y over uh, puncture disc. This is a um, smooth family and uh, we can, uh, uh, if we push forward the uh, constant chief, we get a local system. See, we Q, we denote the VQ, which is R N. Uh, we fix some N. See uh, the dimension of the fibers, but this is the most, say, most interesting degree. And also the, the, the vector bundle, the local degree sheaf, which is the V, sorry, VQ tensor. Um, Uh, let's see, O delta star. And uh, this is uh, the hypercomology. If you use the uh, Pankari lemma, this is the hypercomology of the um, uh, complex. Okay. And uh, still, I, I don't assume that F is uh, uh, projective, so there's no uh, variation of hot structure, but uh, this is, uh, all we have is uh, the vector bundle. And, uh, actually, later on, I will also discuss about the gauss manning connection. But for now, um, we have the locally free sheet. There's no hot filtration. Uh, but if you look at this bundle, uh, you uh, look at the fiber over some point in the puncture disk, the R of N F lower star. Uh, so this is by uh, cohomology and base change. You know, this is just, uh, sorry, maybe at some point, S is not zero in, uh, in the puncture disk. This is just uh, um, the um, homology of the uh, smooth fibers, success. Um, but there is a there is a natural there is a natural extension of this uh, locally free sheaf. Uh, see, uh, extension across the um, origin of the puncture disk. This is in fact uh, locally free, and we um, because we we are talking about the limits of the so the, the pure hard structures uh, lives in this uh, uh, smooth fibers homology smooth fibers, and we want to think of, talk about the limits of the pure hard structures. So we want a natural uh, extension of this locally free sheep or bundle uh, across the zero, and uh, we we want to say that what we can put on this. Uh, on the fiber that over the zero of this uh, uh, extended, for now it's a sheep, but it's in fact locally free. How do I, how do I change pages? Do it, I need to clear it, right? Yes, I think uh, you just. Uh, uh, I, I, yeah, I, I probably I just clear it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, but. Yeah, it's it's not good. Yeah, still, I can now share the. Okay. Um. Yeah, I will try. If I need, I will try to recall it again. But let me clear it. Okay. So, uh, still we want to. Say, next thing is we want to say um. Um, what is 
I N N Flower Star. The extended one, guys. So especially, uh, especially, what is this uh, uh, central fiber okay, over zero? So to understand this, we uh, still consider the following diagram coming from our um, uh, geometric setup. You have the cent uh, central fiber to disk. And here, um, so this is the puncture disk in um, the unit disk. This is the universal cover, the usual diagram. The U maps to E to the two pi I U. Mm, let me call it T. So I uh, here I fix a parameter on the unit disk. So this uh, base change to the universal cover and uh, this guy, we call it the nearby fiber. Um, okay, so uh, for this, what we have to, topologically, we know that we know that uh, we have the isomorphism because the nearby fiber has have the same uh, homotopy type or, uh, with the uh, uh, smooth fiber. So we, from this, uh, those maps, so this is a smooth fiber. We have the isomorphism of uh, homologies. Access to access C. Um, okay, so with this diagram, we actually uh, claim that let me use a different color uh, that in fact we have uh, uh, this. Uh, this, I mean, just the, the sheep tensor. Uh, I, right now, it's not quite clear that it's locally free, but this is just a tensor with the residue field, K of zero. Now, we claim that uh, this is just uh, it's isomorphic, but a non-canonical, non actually. So the reason is um, so the reason is you have the uh, the sequence of isomorphisms. You, she's on time. Uh, so this uh, is basically, uh, I mean, th th this is coming from K Stein morphism. Uh, K is the, the horizontal guy. So you can check this is a Stein. If you take any Stein open setting X and uh, it's pulled back, it's a pre-image is the close subset of the products between uh, the universal cover and the, the open set. So. This is time morphism. Uh, there's no higher direct gamete sheep, so this is isomorphism. And uh, the next one, basically, uh, just by definition of, um, I mean, just take the inverse limits. So here, let me uh, denote the morphism in the diagram I. I is inclusion of the central fiber in X. Uh, yeah, so.
No, sorry, I, I should say take the cohomology over central fiber y. Uh, and the next one is non-trivial. The next one is where the non 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 canon canonical thing um, come from. So the last one is uh, just H n of the uh, is still over the fiber y homology or the fiber y log y tensor o y. This is the complex we will use to construct the let me make our structure. This is isomorphism, but not non-canonical. Um, the last isomorphism is uh, due to uh, uh, cats. So he uh, construct uh, a middle complex, which is uh, uh, quasi isomorphic to I inverse K push forward of the uh, omega x tilde star complex and also the last complex. So the complex is uh, given by um, there exist there exist complex which is I inverse omega log of y with the uh, this is uh, the the, the square bracket is uh, the polynomial. So the local section of this uh, complex or, or maybe um, some uh, uh, graded, uh, some, some degree object is uh, locally, it can be written to this. Uh, sorry, log, log team. Oh. Okay. See log t to some power uh, m and uh, some omega i, omega m. Oh, sorry, omega i. Um, so your omega i is the local section of uh, the uh, complex or she omega x log y. So this is a polynomial coefficient. And uh, this map uh, maps to first you have this this morphism between complex and also you have uh, another morphism between this complex. This is uh, sorry I should write yeah. Uh, this is actually uh, inclusion. You can see since this is uh, you can um, this is a multi-valued function, which is uh, uh, really a function in the universal cover. And this, the, the the upper uh, morphism is actually inclusion of complexes. The lower one is the the one that given by it's a very sorry, complex from this middle complex to the. Uh, uh, the wrong complex. The, 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 the lower one is uh, quite uh, striking. Actually, it only maps to W0. So what Cass uh, showed is uh, this two isomorph, sorry, this two uh, morphism between complex is a quasi isomorphism. So you have a Isomorphism between the hypercomology, but uh, it really depends on the choice of uh, parameter t uh, because of the last one. Okay, uh, could I uh, clear it now? I, uh, well, so I have a question. Why the first one is isomorphism? The... This inclusion? Yes, uh, the, the first one, I mean, uh, uh, from the- Oh, this one? Sorry, uh, let me, this one? Yes, yes. Oh, this is a key Stein. So this basically, uh, I mean, like affine morphism. So you have no higher uh, cohomology Ri. So the spectral sequence, uh, you just have one vertical line, so. Ah, okay, okay, I see, I see. Yeah. 
No. Oh, so, uh, yeah, my point here is the last one is non canonical. Actually, this is why the, I mean, this is the reason that why uh, the limiting mix R structure is not canonical. It depends on the choice of the parameter. If you, mm. if you perturb your parameter on the disk, uh, mm. say, multiply by a non zero constant, then the limiting mix R structure changes. You, you, at the end, you actually get a one uh, parameter family of a mixed hard structure. Uh, I mean, uh, the reason is coming from this non canonical isomorphism. Mm. Uh, yes, now, yeah, let me clear it now. Um, yeah, so now you, 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 you know that. Uh, we have the morphism, then we have, uh, um, sorry, uh, we, 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 have, we actually have a constant function. So T is a, uh, any prime, I'm sorry, any point in the, in the disk, you need disk, it maps to the cohomology uh, log Y. Uh, uh, o x t. So remember, if t is not zero, uh, this is uh, if t is not zero, this is just uh, uh, our usual cohomology of x t uh, c, and uh, t is zero. Then it's non-canonically isomorphic to. Uh, yeah, hyper cohomology of this guy, which is uh, um, the um, cohomology of the nearby fiber. Uh, the dimension are the same. I mean, it's constant. Sorry, I should write a dimension. This is a constant function. So, uh, by the cohomology base change, you know that. Uh, this just tells you that, uh, so the extended bundle, sorry, the extended sheaf is uh, locally free and uh, actually the central fiber is uh, nice. It's, it's the cohomology of, of the nearby fiber. Oh, sorry, it, it's locally free and uh, And we have the, here the hyper Rn. We always isomorphic to uh, OXS. Okay, so our goal is uh, here. Our goal, goal is high cohomology of this. The right, the right. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our goal is uh, um, we want to put, uh, you know, mix our structure on. Hn of omega x delta oy, which is x zero in the central fiber. Um, see as uh, or non canonically on or non canonically Hn of x delta uh, as a limit of. Uh, um, yeah, here because I didn't assume that it's projected uh, family, so yeah, um, when f is uh, of a pure R structure, f is projected, but if f is not projected, still we have. Uh, Uh, yes. 
So uh, maybe, maybe a quick remark. Um, uh, so uh, we we have we have a canonical uh, the canonical mixer structure on the the cohomology of the central fiber uh, is is not a good candidate for the limiting mixer structure. Uh, since uh, yeah, so even 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 the dimension of the uh, cohomology of the the singular central fiber and this uh, the cohomology of the nearby fiber or this one, even the dimension may be different. So this is not a good one. I, and actually, you you have the morphism uh, uh, between them topological one topological uh, uh, coming from a topology so this is uh, this is the inclusion and this is the universal power of the x star so this uh, induces a morphism so hn of uh, y which is isomorphic to hn of uh, the whole family x since you can always shrink it's a deformation retraction and then you have the morphism to um the uh, nearby fiber and th th in general this is uh, I mean these two have different dimension and if you if you look at the canonical mixer structure and the limited mixer structure here uh, there will be a long exact sequence you can embed into it. this morphism this morphism coming from topology is a morphism between mixer structures and you can embed this morphism into a long exact sequence so okay, now let me uh, recall some basic uh, definitions of uh, uh, mixed hot structure and mixed hot complex, so that we we need to use to prove the existence of limited mixed hot structure. So could I clean it now? So yeah, this is just uh, some uh, abstract linear algebra. So this is um, uh, makes large complex of sheaves. Let's recall. Okay, so first one is I will not recall the pure structure. This is already given by Jiaming. So let me start with the mixer structure. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. Mixer structure on a still free. Um, uh, yeah, let's forget about the torsion part. Uh, let's um, fix the free uh, Z module Abelian group. Uh, say uh, HZ of finite rank. Oh, sorry. Uh, consists of the following data. So the first one is the increasing filtration. Uh, which is um, Uh, we, we generate the W on the Q structure and also the decreasing filtration. F upper star on the complex structure. Which satisfy that the induced, uh, the induced, such that the induced uh, uh, filtration on the GER, uh, the, 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 the weight GER part is actually a uh, induced filtration F dot on uh, GER of uh, some IC. 
of page Q, uh, which is um, WI over WI minus one, is a pure hard structure. Use filtration and satisfy. Uh, yeah, let me let me write let me write down. So see, uh, we call it FP. Still only on the <coughs> complex structure. So this is uh, FP of over WI minus one tensor C. This is used uh, hot filtration on the girl part form of, so the, the, the whole Q space and the filtration form of pure hot structure. <coughs> and uh, also since I, uh, this time I don't talk about the projective family. Let me first uh, ignore the polarization. <coughs> uh, the next one is uh, the mixed arch complex. Maybe uh, let me fix C part. Let me uh, yeah. Th this time I only talk about the C structure. Let me. Uh, also ignore the, for, for the next de definition, let me ignore the Z structure and even the Q structure. Uh, it's called C mix arch on complex scope sheaves. We denote it K dot, KC dot. It's a complex, it's a bounded, com bounded below. complex of C vector spaces uh, together with the filtration, the filtered complex. Uh, see, let me call it W. W dot um, increasing Filtration and the F dot decreasing. So it's a bifiltered complex. Uh, such that if you take still, if you take the GER complex, GER of M with respect to uh, W filtration and also the, fil the, the, the induced. F dot, uh, the, the, the F filtration on the GER part. This is a C uh, Hodge complex of sheets. Mm, by this, I mean, sorry, sheets. By this, I mean um, so you you have a you have a complex and the uh, the F filtration is a C Hodge complex. If uh, so, the first one you uh, if you take the uh, say fix uh, in some some integer k and m, then we actually have uh, h k of this of gur of m. Sorry. Uh, how should I? Start? No, no, no. I mean, like, yeah, let me just. Uh, Or some k, so hk of p c dot and the 
uh, also the induced filtration on the cohomology is a pure hard structure. Of weight. Okay. And also, uh, we want the the spectral sequence degenerate. So, girl, for, oh, PF. Or PC dot degenerate at E one. So for the for for the for this guy is a C Hodge complex of weight. Oh, sorry. Of weight M. So this is a. Mm, yeah, maybe I should just also specify the weight of uh, the in the definition of Hodge complex of weight of weight M. Then this is a pure structure of weight k plus n. I mean, it also depends on the degree of the cohomology you take. Okay. And uh, let me also, yeah, let me clear it. And let me also uh, uh, recall a theorem, it's an abstract theorem for a C mixed arch complex of sheaves. So still we had the following data. So K, C, and W filtration, F filtration, let be a um, C mixage complex of sheaves. Uh, then we actually have, uh, if we define uh, the, the W filtration on the hypercomology of this complex, Um, by definition, this is uh, the image, or you take the image W uh, M minus K. There, there, there is a twist. Actually, if you, if you, uh, I mean, between the W filtration of the cohomology and W filtration on complex, the reason is you want to make it uh, to be uh, just as the uh, mix all structure for uh, smooth variety, smooth. Not necessarily uh, projected or compact variety. Um, there, there is also a twist. The, the twist is uh, more like convention. You want to make the 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 mixer structure to be a uh, uh, functorial. So this, I mean, here you have uh, so need to keep in mind that we always have this uh, uh, twist. So to K, KC dot. And also the hot filtration defined is similar. And uh, um, yeah, it's uh, then this and this uh, form, uh, and and also the the whole cohomology form uh, makes our structure. Uh, H K of X C actually C makes our structure.
uh, maybe especially uh, uh, yeah may also also we have uh, two uh, special sequence given by uh, w filtration f filtration uh, so the e1 w uh, minus m k plus m kc dot which is uh, which is the and th those are given by the filtration so girl of w m k dot converge to uh, hk of uh, K dot degenerate at E2. And the E2, you know, E2, that is E2 K minus M, K plus M equals to infinity equals to the girl of M plus K. So here you see the, 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 the shift of the index. And uh, the audio filtration degenerate at E1. So, yeah, let me just uh, write this. Here. At E1, you can write it down. Okay, and uh, yeah, so now the, the, the next section, let me uh, try to introduce the, uh, let me mix our structure on the nearby fiber. So, I think it's section three. Um, yes. So uh, to begin with, let me recall, because I always use this notation, but let me recall the U is any smooth variety. Recall. It's not really recall, but um, I, I want to explain the uh, mix art, the kind of canonical mix art structure on smooth varieties. Uh, and uh, CD is uh, uh, equals to x minus U, a simple normal crossing divisor, uh, smooth projective variety uh, X. Of proper variety X, uh, simple normal crossing divisor on smooth projective X. Then, yeah, we fix the following. So we, we know that by algebraic or analytic, uh, the round theorem, uh, say still, let me use degree N. You see, is, uh, is sorry. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's computed by the uh, Duran complex. Uh, log D. And uh, actually uh, the mixed R structure can be uh, defined over this complex. Uh, so, yeah, I don't think, I, yeah, maybe let me first, uh, for the for the hot filtration is the just the trio filtration. Oh. Mm. oh no. The trio filtration. Uh um make X log D. Could I clean it now? Yeah, maybe uh, maybe it's not trivial. It's bad field field changing bad. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Still. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I mean, yeah. Here I just the, yeah the mixed structure on level of of complex for 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 hot filtration of this complex. I mean the trio of filtration. I mean F. Uh, uh, say p of this uh, omega x dot log p is just uh, zero. You throw away the previous p minus one part, degree part, sorry, p plus log d and uh, until the top one. 
So this is you. So yeah, could I clean it now? Okay. Okay. Uh, and the wave, wave, wave filtration is uh, the notation we always use in the point in the later discussion. So the weight filtration, the Deline, uh, introduced by Delin, uh, um, still on this complex log D, is defined by CWM, uh, say omega P of log D. Uh, which is zero if uh, m is less than equal to zero, uh, less than zero, m is uh, greater than p, then it's the whole thing. And uh, I mean, the between then just the omega x, the p minus m wedge omega x, m. the m, m is the copy of log differentials. Okay, and then uh, the thing is uh, uh, this complex omega x dot log d and the hot filter, sorry, the weight filtration and the F, w filtration f filtration form a, a, a mixed hot complex of sheets. Form a mixed hot complex of sheets. This is for only for uh, smooth variety. So we will always use this notation. So remember that for our, uh, for our, yeah, so this, so you call me. So remember for our <coughs> nearby uh, um, fiber, we have a kind of uh, uh, drum resolution, but this is uh, this is non-canonical. Um, by by this guy. So yeah, let me let me write it explicitly. So uh, uh, omega y to zero. This complex to omega y to omega x over delta one log y and uh, y until into etc. Um. Yeah, this is, let me, uh, um, denote this complex by R dot. Uh, yeah, non canonical resolution, the, the wrong resolution. Of the nearby fiber, so I, the naive, na the naive thought is uh, the na naive thought is uh, we want to uh, imitate the the lean weight filtration to define a weight filtration of this drum complex R dot. Uh, and the hot filtration is still the uh, trivial filtration. Um, so that, that, that is naive thought uh, a, a candidate. Candidate for um, W filtration on complex R dot is uh, uh, take W, C, uh, uh, M or K. Uh, of for uh, um yeah me 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 p log y o y to be the image of um say omega x sorry w w k omega x p log y in the So for this, for this, I mean, you, you have a, right? So you have a short exact sequence. Sorry. 
basically by, defin by, by definition of this relative differential, the log differential. So you have a, a, um, morphism. This is a, F is our family map of families. T is a parameter. This is a log differential downstairs. You pull it back and you wedge it. It maps to omega x um, dot log y. And then at the, at the end, you get a log differential, a relative log differential. And then you take, uh, yeah, so the image, I mean, so do this map. And you take, uh, you restrict the sections to y. Um, but uh, the, 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 the issue is uh, this is not a good candidate because um, after uh, some computation, actually you can do it by hand that uh, after computation, uh, the GER zero part of this R complex, GER zero. I mean, if you define it like this, the GER zero part is actually resolves C of your single uh, central fiber, C of Y. So we know that if we hope that, if we hope we can get a, a limiting mix R structure using this W filtration, we have to show that with this W filtration on the complex is a mixed hard complex. But the GER part, the GER complex um, with, the, the, with the induced Hodge filtration must be uh, by definition, by definition of mixed Hodge complex of sheaves, the GER part with the induced Hodge filtration must be a Hodge complex, pure Hodge complex. But, but this guy resolves the singular fiber. So there's no hope um, to um, put a, uh, Hodge complex on this uh, GER complex. There is no hope. You put a Hodge complex of sheaves on GER zero. So th this is not good. Is not a good uh, candidate. So we, uh, the, the, the idea, I mean, Steinbrink's idea is uh, you, you want to resolve R uh, further, one, one more step to get a double complex. And over that double complex, you can define the W filtration and the R filtration. So I, I will uh, yeah, move on to talk about the double complex. Okay, um, could I clean it now? Okay. Okay. Oh uh, yes. So um, yeah, I have only half an hour. Okay. So yeah. Uh, yeah. The steam brings idea. Brink's idea is uh, resolve uh, resolve resolve r dot r dot and remember remember it's the yeah let me just write here x over delta log y dot tensor o y resolve by a double complex. So for each, so we want to resolve it for, uh, I mean, for each uh, uh, degree element. So say pick a omega p I consider the following complex, the, the complex, the first map is d t over t uh wedge something the local sections and the mod out w0 the dream filtration mm, but I, I will try to recall but it maps to uh, let me first write it down 
Uh, yeah, let me use Q. So Q plus one log Y. So you 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 wedge one differential function. Yeah, here I should here I should uh, write. Sorry, Boba, uh, the Bobat guy. Uh, over the omega x q plus one. This part is w zero. Remember zero w m m is the copies of log differentials. And uh, go on. So the later one is uh, dt still go back wedge local section. log y mod out w1. Yeah. Is omega w1, which is omega q plus one, which uh, uh, one copy is of log differential. Okay, et cetera. So uh, yes. Um, First, you can see that, uh, which we, should I explain the, um, yeah, do you want me to explain this exactness? This is exact. So maybe, maybe yeah, so let, let me call it theta. And the uh, first thing is uh, roughly, you know that uh, the relative differential, log differential risk, yeah, per, the first thing is all those sheaves, all those sheaves are sheaves uh, supported on Sheaves or sheaves supported on uh, um, the central fiber Y. Okay, so uh, outside of Y, I mean, they are just cured by the quotient. Uh, also, uh, let me denote theta to be the F pullback uh, DT or D wedge. Uh, we can see that the, 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 the first sheaf, the relative differential, is the kernel of theta. And because here, the first map, you want uh, f pull back dt over t wedge, so you need to uh, take the relative differential. I mean, the, the, the relative guy is containing the kernel of the, the map uh, dt over t wedge. Uh, and you can tensor OY, of course, because the, the later one is supported on Y. And the first one is the kernel of the following things. It's uh, kind of clear. Uh, to show that the following guy, they are, are exact, uh, basically this coming from the residue. So, but, but you need to take uh, maybe idea, rough idea, proof, uh, we just take, um, do, do I need, uh, yeah, let me uh, let me fix the notation. I think I need it. So let sorry let let a of uh, p q uh, equals to omega x p plus q plus one of uh, log y over w q. Sorry, w p. P is still the copies of uh, uh, logarithmic differentials. Uh, WP of uh, this guy. So I just write WP. Uh, then, you know, uh, the complex is uh, maps to A uh, zero Q a one q those are tensor dt or t callback sorry a wedge wedge dt or t uh, etc so if you wedge one copies of the callback dt or t you will increase uh, the, so here remember this is uh, of course you will increase the index of the the log differential upstairs and also increase the W index. This is W zero and the later one, this is P plus Q. Sorry, no, I should. Uh, 
q plus two and uh, what our w one this is where the dt or t but to show the later one is uh, exact basically you need to pick uh, pick a filtration to show that each curve pick a filtration on the complex and to show that the induced the GER complex are exact is suffice to show that so the 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 the, the GER filtration uh, after you take the following filtration maybe PQ of uh, um, W, I, I define W tilde. No. W always uh, means the, the link filtration. So it's K plus P plus one of uh, P plus Q plus one and log Y over um, WP. Um, yes. So after you choose this uh, filtration, then uh, yeah, then uh, you just look at the the complex, the 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 GER complex. Etc. But remember that uh, for this uh, log differentials, we have uh, uh, concrete residue isomorphism. Yes, the concrete residue isomorphism, but uh, yeah, I think I need to erase upstairs. So uh, let, let me finish the symbols and explain it. So Q minus key, K plus one. And the downstairs is clear that it's exact complex. So, sorry, let me erase the upstairs. And uh, explain the symbols. Okay, so for the symbols Y tilde uh, of M, I mean the iPod intersection. So this is the disjoint, uh, disjoint intersection of Y the I1 intersect with I, Y, I, M, where Y, remember that the central fiber uh, is Y, the smooth, uh, irreducible components. And also the A, M is uh, um, Y, M, Y, Q, the M to Y, uh, the natural map maps into y and also this our a k plus one a k plus two and also uh the yeah so there is uh there is um the alternating uh sum of i mean the some morphism coming from alternating uh um, pullbacks some of so why am this is the complex map this is a map in the uh, the complex after Punkery residue um this maps to a m plus one for j y to the m plus one okay and this is given by CU maps alpha to uh, uh, alternating sum L1 to M plus one with some power. You, you just choose one power actually. 
delta alpha l uh, sorry, uh, delta l alpha delta l is the natural map where the inclusion map oh, sorry the the yeah the y i1 intersect with y uh, i m plus 1 into the uh, the intersection with y of i l so you throw it away and uh, y m plus 1 i m plus 1 So this, I mean, uh, this is a well-known complex uh, in the hypercovering uh, of uh, singular varieties. And this, this is exact, downstairs is exact. And, uh, through Hungary residue map, you know that the, the upper complex is exact and it's really a resolution. So, ooh, yeah, any question? Could I clean it now? Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Now, now let me give the explicit construction of um, limiting mixed R structure and to show that it really gives a mixed R structure, of, uh, a mixed R complex of sheaves, and then maybe. Yeah. Okay. So. Now remember with this, uh, yeah, then let's forget about the, I mean, you just uh, uh, assume that it's a resolution, then uh, we have the following uh, double complex. Then we have uh, following double complex. Uh, remember the first one is uh, the Durham complex, kind of Durham complex resolve your, um, uh, nearby fiber, and uh, etc. So also here we uh, have the resolution for each level. Um, your OX maps to here. Here there is the minus one. I don't specify the power and you want to make it a commutative. So, so dt or dh and the mod w0 actually as before. W0 is the, the infiltration. So it maps into omega one. So this is very simple for the first two. Uh, omega x one. Uh, and also the next one is dt or t. So this each horizontal is the resolution we have um, before. So dt or t. Still here you have a uh, sign. So this maps to, uh, remember you wedge one log differential upstairs the omega two and downstairs uh, you have uh, actually um, W W one. Uh, let me write omega X omega X one log. And uh, the vertical map is the usual differential. It maps to also the Degree two differential, but downstairs you have the usual, which is W zero. Actually, you have no diff log differentials. Uh, usual degree two uh, differential. Uh, um, still there, you have a horizontal map. Uh, here you have. Uh, Omega three, the omega x two wedge omega x one log y. So this is a double complex you have. Uh, let me call it. Uh, this is a zero. So yeah, since I have um, already made this notation, is a p q. 
this is a zero zero this is a uh, zero one p is uh, p so a p q p is the index for the uh the infiltration downstairs this is w zero actually this is w one one w zero this is a uh, one zero a one one Okay, so now we define the hot filtration uh, of this double complex. It's, uh, there's no uh, surprising, so it's uh, still the trio filtration of the coming from the uh, the vertical drum complex. Uh, so. filtration f dot on this double complex um, to be uh, f of r say apq equals to apq zero if q is greater than equal to r and if q is less than equal to r does that mean I, I, for example, F1, I keep this part and F2, this part. Also, uh, the weight filtration W dot, sorry, W dot on um, uh, A dot dot. Uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I will, I will use another notation. Uh, WW is only for the the uh, lean W filtration. Let me use M. Actually, M for monodromy. M dot uh, the monodromy weight filtration uh, to be MR. Uh, yeah, a priori you might think think this is a. Uh, uh, not that natural, but it's uh, R plus two P plus one of P plus Q plus one. Maybe you think this is not natural. Actually, uh, this if you look at the monodromy, uh, the, the relation between the, the mixed out structure and the monodromy, you know that you have to choose this index. So R plus two P plus one. Uh, yeah, let me explain later on. So over WP. So this is a filter double complex with F filtration and M filtration. Uh, and uh, yeah, the theorem is um, the, the total complex A dot dot with the total with the hot filtration and w filtration on the total complex the induced one is a mixed hot complex of sheaves and if you take the uh, hyper cohomology of each complex and uh, don't forget the sheet the index shifting on the the m filtration then it forms a mixed hot structure which is the limiting mixed hot structure uh, I will. I mean, the proof of this theorem is very easy. If you, if you are done with the construction, you just check that it's um, the the girl part is a hot complex of sheaves. So um, yeah, could I read it now? Uh, any question? Uh, so why you need the monodromy filtration here? Uh, why do I need? Sorry. So here, here, so you, you introduced the monogen, uh, the monogen weight filtration, so M. So but here, uh, the theorem here, is that yeah. not yeah. here. The, yeah, for now, this is just a name. I, okay. I use this symbol. For now, this is just a name. It's not clear that uh, the, this filtration is really coming from the monogen, but I will show that. Actually, actually, if, uh, uh, if you don't assume that your family is projected, it's just any proper homomorphic map, Mm -hmm. This guy, this construction does not, I mean, the monodromy 
of course, you have a monodromy weight filtration. It's not coincide with this filtration, actually. Okay, okay. The mixed hard structure. But this is just simple for now, and uh, it's purely from the construction. For now, it's quite mysterious why we choose this index. Uh -huh. It's kind of a weird thing. But uh, it will be uh, obvious later on. So, uh, so what the, yeah. the, the theorem, the total complex just a resolve is quasi isomorphic. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, here, here is Sam. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I guess this is your question, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean M. And, and I'm, I'm also curious about, so the, the total complex is also, uh, is also quasi isomorphic to, uh, to yeah, the yeah, yeah. right uh, omega x, so log complex, which uh, raised you at the y, is right? Yes. Yes, yes, that's right. Because the double complex result is guys. Yes, yes. Okay. It's right. Yes. Total complex hyper cohomology of this guy uh, really just uh, uh, the, the complex, yes. Okay, I see. Uh, and, uh, you know, yeah, this is just not canonically. This is canonical, of course. And uh, uh, the, the the last one is not canonically isomorphic to uh, okay. Sorry, the cohomology of nearby fiber euro cohomology. So this is just as a limiting whole structure, actually. What you yes, yes, exactly. Yes. I mean, if you take the hyper cohomology and uh, yeah, this mm. is the limiting structure, and it depends on the parameter t. Everywhere t, t the parameter t can I mean occur everywhere. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> okay, okay, so. Okay, so, yeah, maybe uh, this is just one line proof of this theorem. Um, is, uh, is it in one line proof? Yes. It, so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know how to, I, I really want to, uh, I, want, I want to keep this picture. Could I erase the downstairs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can. Oh, sorry. Okay, so yeah, the the proof of uh, with this two filtration, yeah. I, but um, I want to show that the girl part, the girl of uh, the M filtration, they are index R, A, P, Q. Uh, and then you take the total complex, it really forms a Hodge complex. But uh, let me first compute for each object, uh, each element, A, P, Q. GER R of APQ. This is just uh, remember GER R, the, the weird index is R plus 2P plus 1. Uh, actually, omega X uh, P plus 1, P plus Q plus 1. What out GER of R to P, R plus 2P. So this is the GER. And uh, uh, we, if we check the horizontal map, we check the horizontal. If you check all, all the horizontal map in the double complex, uh, um, in the GER complex of this double complex, you will see that it's zero map because uh, yeah, the dt over t wedge dot on GER complex, GER double complex, GER RC, double complex is just uh, you know, uh, W R plus two P plus one over W R plus two P maps to the next, the next one is uh, the index P increased by one. So it's uh, two P, so you, you, you have two P plus uh, three and uh, R of two P plus two. This is d, dt over t wedge. 
And uh, yeah, maybe this is another reason that why you choose this weird index in the monotomy with the fusion. But uh, uh, still, for now, it's not clear that uh, how does it relate to the monotomy, topological monotomy. But you see that through this map, this guy maps to the uh, denominator, and uh, uh, this is just a zero map. So now, now you see the girl for the current double com the girl part of the double complex. The horizontal guy are all zero. You only have vertical uh, complex. Then you just uh, compute by hands. At the end, you get the they, they are just the direct sum of the vertical complex or minus R. Those are in the, coming from the computation. Uh, but the point is they are. 2k plus 1. They are just uh, um, uh, the, the, the vertical complex is the girl and the twisted by one. But uh, this is isomorphic to uh, this is isomorphic to by Pangari uh, residue isomorphism. This is isomorphic to the uh, the complex like this minus r uh, this the drum complex on all on the all the i fold intersection of your central fiber two k plus r plus one r plus two k plus one so with some twist. Uh, yes. So you you see that yeah. Then uh, yeah. Let me call it. Uh, sorry. Let me call it the total complex. Okay, total complex of that. You 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 take the total total complex. You, you take the curve of the double complex. Then take the total complex. This is just the direct sum of shifted vertical uh, uh, complexes. Um, because the horizontal guy are zeros, total of a dot dot. And you see that uh, this is a, actually a pure heart, sorry, pure heart complex. Because th those are all smooth projective varieties. The I fold intersection, you take uh, R plus 2K plus 1 fold intersection of your uh, normal crossing central fiber, and uh, you take the disjoint union of them. So this basically tells you that, uh, the, yeah, you 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 show that the curve of the total complex is a Hodge complex of sheaves, pure Hodge complex of sheaves. So so the original one is a mixed Hodge complex of sheaves. Um, this is the, the the proof of the theorem. And you have a mixed Hodge structure now in the in the in the nearby fiber. Any any question? Okay, so uh, I have a question. So uh, so this is just uh, because uh, you take the let me recall. So you, you take the lo logarithmic complex, the arm complexes, then you take the high direct image. Uh, uh, this is just to give rise to uh, to the usual uh, usual, uh, the, uh, usual extension, the extension of the local system is right. So then, uh, I mean. Uh, because what what you construction is just the uh, uh, um, so you take the usual logarithmic complex of uh, of the of the family so then uh, you you take the higher R n f star cohomology of this uh, drum complex then uh, yeah outside of the central fiber is just the local uh, the uh, the local system but then when you put the information on the central fiber this gives rise to the extension just as the usual the extension of the the, the uh, of the local system is right. Yeah, 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 but but um, then the, the, this, yeah. then this is just a, what you constructed is the central fiber is just a corresponding to the extension of the um, the, the information of the extension, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, of course, yes. It, it, it's, uh, you, it's determined. Yeah, still, when, once you fix the parameter, it determ determined by the Deni extension. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 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 how can you see the information of the uh, of the unipotent monotomy? So since the fiber is reduced here, 
the monogamy, uh, the monogamy is uh, unipotent. Is right? How can we see uh, from this construction? Um, when if, if you do the semi-stable reduction and you make the central fiber to be reduced, the monogamy is always unipotent. Yes, yes. But here, can we see uh, from the proof or um, because this is uh, this is also not obvious. I mean. Uh, it should be uh, followed from some step of the proof. Uh, I'm not sure. Mm. Uh, yes, but you need to uh, compute the eigenvalue of the residue of the monodromy, right? Okay. Yes. And the yes. uh, eigenvalue of the residue of the monodromy. Uh, if you, yeah, still I didn't talk about the Gaussman connection and the, mm. the the monodromy or the residue of the monodromy acts on the spectral sequence of the given by the Gaussman connection. Okay. And uh, if you look at the action in the spectral sequence in the E1 page, E2 page of that spectral sequence, you you can show that when the fiber is reduced, mm. uh, the, the eigenvalues are always one, not, mm. not rational. Oh. And uh, when the spectral sequence degenerates in the in the extended bundle R, it degenerates to R n of f lower star of the log differentials, relative log differential. Mm. Then the eigenvalue is also one because in the spectral sequence for each two pages one. Then, yeah, this is yeah this is another thing that I yeah I, I my plan is I want to connect mm. the Steinbrink's construction with the Gaussman connection and the, the monogram. Mm. Um, but it's yeah still just from. I mean. All those constructions are under the assumption that the central fiber is reduced. If it is not reduced, I have to do the semi-stable reduction. Mm. So the non-reducedness, mm. oh, I mean, a non-unipotent guy, I mean, it's not, cannot be seen from those constructions. So you, you have to, for non-unipotent things, you have to take the unipotent part. You can mm. see from the paper by Steinbrink when he constructs the, Q structure. Mm. Uh, well, you need to uh, take the non unip sorry, unipotent part of the uh, Q structure and the C complex structure. Mm. It, I mean, yeah, my point is if the central fiber is not reduced, uh, what you constructed, uh, if you limited the, all the constructions formally, maybe at the end you will not get the limiting structure. Okay, so I have another question. So, uh, does the theorem, uh, does the Steinbrück theorem, so can be easily uh, uh, generalized to higher dimensional bases? Uh, is is very obvious or not? So here, um, because, uh, no, I, I I don't think there is uh, some 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 research by uh, Tiki and several other. You can see the variation in our structure or higher dimensional base. Mm -hmm. There are some papers. But uh, yeah, you, you, you can imagine that the, the, the monodrome is quite complicated. But if it's so stable, then it's also the same proof as uh, what you did here? Or? Well, if you fix the direction, if you fix the direction of the downstairs, downstairs higher dimension, if you fix the direction and you just take a small curve, mm -hmm. you restrict the family to that direction. Yes. Then, yeah, then. I, I guess so. Okay. But uh, how, the relation, you know, if you choose different uh, direction, the monodromy can be complicated. Yes. 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 Yeah. I, around each device, for, for example, if you pick a single point of the central fiber, you choose a direction, mm. a single point of the central fiber. Mm. It involves different uh, local yeah. monodromy. Yes, yes. I, I don't know that. Yeah. Mm. The, okay. the, the but I, I cannot see uh, some uh, difficulty in generalizing, generalizing, um, generalizing so this uh, procedure, uh, what you did uh, to high dimension, if you run the same thing, because you can also define the, um, the yes. complex. I, I don't know what's the difficulty in generalizing uh, this to high dimensional basis, but maybe someone has it. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, there, there is paper. There is a paper by GK I think, and many others. Okay. I forgot. So uh, it's called steam brain double comp double complex things over a uh, higher dimension. Okay, okay. Maybe I'll, I'll look at it. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, sorry, I, I couldn't finish. I My plan is also, I want to talk about the monogram. Okay. Mm -hmm.
Okay, okay. Maybe uh, you can right put now. it in the next talk or just. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Already. So, uh, is there uh, 